Hi, this is Martin Bryan, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing video today. What I have here is the Behringer D600 Digital Reverb. And the reason that I purchased this is because I have a couple of tube amps that I'm happy with, but they don't have reverb installed. And primarily, that's the uh, Hughes and Kettner Tube Master 18. Looking at that line to go up to an amp that's got reverb in it, you have to spend like three times the cost to go up to the TubeMeister 40, and I'd really rather not do that. So I'm happy with the um, TubeMeister 18. The plan is to take this, uh, test it out, find which of the settings I like, and then go ahead and place it in the effects loop. All right, so let's see uh, what we got. Order this from uh, Guitar Center. Got a birthday gift card from my cousin Mike and his wife, so it was very nice. And let's see what we have. All right, pretty decent packaging from Guitar Center. All right, got your typical paperwork from Guitar Center, all good. In case there's any problems with that, we'll hang on to that. Okay, so I've purchased um, several of these Barrier effects, and I know that they're considered to be on the low side, but I've really had pretty good experiences with them, uh, particularly the compressor sustainer, which I think is just an amazing pedal. And all of these pedals I've been able to purchase for, for under $50. So again, we have the uh, D600 Reverb here. Comes in a pretty nice um, watch style box. Let's open it up and see what we get. Okay. So it's uh, covered in plastic with the instructions at the bottom. Okay, and open this up. P pretty heavy. It seems like the construction is decent. Right, you got your typical set of instructions in multiple languages. So I will hang on to English in my primary language. My only language, no my good. And you know your typical kind of quick start instructions. Taking a look at the physical pedal itself. Um, all of the Behringer effects that I've um, purchased have this nice uh, rubberized sole so it doesn't slide around if you're not using a pedal board. If you've got this on the floor, let's say in the basement or a garage, or in my case, I'm going to be having this uh, behind the tube head on the cabinet. So I think that this uh, will, will be very helpful. In terms of controls, um, you know, we've got uh, going this way, we've got level, tone, time and then we've got some presets which I'll probably be most interested in. Um, there's spring, plate, hall, gate, and room modulate. I'm thinking like a classic spring reverb is really the sound that I'd be looking for. And then it's got in it, in A and B. So I'm assuming that this is essentially like a stereo although they're not calling it that probably would be the only reason for two connections unless one of them is dry. Um, so I'll have to take a look at the instructions and better understand how that is the case. Could well be that one is uh, one is clean and slash dry and the other is uh, reverb. So seems seems pretty good so far. I will follow up with another video when I actually uh, test it out and we'll get a setting check see what we think of the different um, default modes. But from an unboxing perspective, nice and solid. No issues with that. The controls seem to be really pretty good. So I'm looking forward to getting this bad boy in my effects loop and seeing how it sounds. Okay, well, thanks again. This is Martin Bryan, and this has been the um, Behringer Digital Reverb D600 unboxing. Thank you very much and have a great day.